Hello again. So today uh, we're gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna use this class. This Java this Java class was given and it's in the in the book name uh, the book called uh, Java programming from the beginning. The author is KJ K N King. Okay. And then the problem says like this add, subtract, multiply, and divide methods to the fraction class. Also, add two more constructors. One of the constructors um, will have no parameters, it initializes the fraction to 0 slash 1. The other constructor uh, will have one parameter representing the numerator of the fraction. The numerator will be the, not that the numerator will be one, and then we have to write a test a test for this class. So let's do this. So first of all, we have to add three new methods. Okay. So we have to add here, and then let's. Uh, so, 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 fraction because we want to return and uh, no, we want to I want to return a fraction object and then we write so right. and then one of the parameters is going to be a fraction of f. So it's gonna this code is very, it's gonna be very similar to this one. We're just gonna change this plus to minus, and that should be it for this part. So the second one for public fraction. Sorry, multiply. And then when I enter a fraction object, and then we're going to do is the numerator is going to be equal to the numerator of the first fraction. Yeah, multiply by f get uh, this guy's numerator. Same as this line up here. Okay, so we'll have our multiply and then we we'll have to do division. So basically, it's gonna be almost the same thing. Mm, we should call it divide. Yeah. No, I did 
is something wrong here. Is this should be denominator. Okay. And then we're gonna return this. <laughs> yes. Now let's do this. Now. Okay, two more constructors. One constructor will have no parameters and initializes the frac initializes the fraction to zero. Okay, let's go here. This this was our our, our original constructor, so we're gonna have another one. So public fraction no parameters. And then numerator is gonna be equal to zero comma and then denominator is gonna be equal to one. Uh -huh. And then when no parameter is represented okay. and the other constructor should have one parameter representing the numerator, okay. So the next one is going to be public fraction dun 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 dun. and what's going on here? No, it's not a method. It is a constructor. Why is not taking the constructor? Fraction, fraction. It's not letting me for some reason. The requirement of fraction here, yeah. but it's not a, it's not a method. Let me finish this. So we're gonna enter a number. I guess you want us to put equal to number and then denominator equal to um, one. Okay, no mistakes. So we're fine. <laughs> no mistakes for now, and then let's test. Okay, first of all, we're going, we're going to create a fraction object, fraction f1 equal to new fraction new fraction, and let's put it to comma three. Let's create a new fraction. Fraction F2 equal to new fraction. No parameters. And then we have another one. Fraction F3. Test the uh, well since add was in the original version of the uh, of the fraction class, we're gonna test our subtract. So how we gonna test it? So we're gonna do this. Uh, I guess what we're supposed to do is in order to see the result, we have to just system the the. Uh, Mm, it's gonna be a little messy. Okay, 
Where's this door? Otherwise, it's gonna be more typing. And then we're gonna to do is F1 dot surf chuck F2. And then we're gonna convert this to a string. The, st the to string method it was uh, given in the fraction class. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to we're going to repeat this for multiplication. And division set. Multiply divide. Let's for this case let's use F three. Um, mm -hmm. And now for these values, so we're just we're testing the methods here. Well, we're going to test also. The denominator and, num and numerator and denominator for the fraction two. Okay, so we also want to need to print the values. So it's gonna be f two the get denominator and then two. Oh no! Since we're getting it, should be enough to do this. And then we're going to do the same thing for F3. Okay, let's see what happens. Save it and run it. So we got F1, which makes sense for the denominator. Uh, the no one for the denominator of 12, which is correct mm -hmm. on here we have we subtracted f1 which was 2 over 3 minus f2 which was 0 right because it was because 0 over 1 is 0, so okay, so we got the same result. Okay, f1 is multiplied times f2, so the denominator is 0 over 3, so this this whole thing is 0 again. Okay, we're good. So the division of f1 over f3, yes, so it's 2 over 3. Okay, so we're fine. So we got the correct result. Alright, thank you. See you next time.